Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we proceed with today's video, there are some details I wanted to share with the community. So what I'm planning is, I will have a daily video in this manner where I will get to interact with you guys a little. I understand I have shots, but shots are not a nice way to interact because I have to convey a lot of information in a very short period. If you're watching my channel on a daily basis, please look out for the video. And if you like my content, please consider subscribing as the channel has now crossed I think one year and the reach and views I had with YouTube's help has more or less vanished. I keep requesting this as still almost 95% of you are not sub to the channel. Something else I wanted to discuss is, I understand from the comments in the last few videos where I have started using my own voice that a few of you are having difficulty in understanding what I am trying to say and I have requested for subtitles. I have arranged for subtitles for this video and even included subtitles in yesterday's video which was the ride with NPC mod. And from now on all the videos which I make will have subtitles in them. The shots already had them but even the long format videos will have it. Please check it out and let me know if things are comfortable to understand now. Now that we have got everything out of the way let's proceed in the video. So today's video will be about this house next to strawberry. I think many of you know it but most of you don't. One of the most famous videos of my channel, the raccoon video, was made on this house and I was surprised to see so many comments where nobody knew what this house was or even where it was. In retrospect, it makes sense, you know, since the whole mission set is started in the epilogue and most players, when they reach the epilogue are baying for Micah's blood and do not bother to focus on anything else. On top of that, many of us, including me, had this habit where I uninstalled the game once the main story is completed. I just lost the will to continue and complete the game to 100%. This happened for me with the Witcher series, with GTA 5 and a couple of other open world games including the old assassin games. If you are wondering how I am doing this now with Arthur, it is because I have some mods enabled that allows me to enter this home and look around. This home belongs to a taxidermist and the main room is filled with stuffed animals like a fox, some birds, a skull, some skin, some more birds and a skunk. I think that's a skunk by the way, since they're not common in my continent I'm not sure about it but I think that's a skunk. There are some animal meat as well on the table crafted into sausages but eating at this home I think will be a risky affair, right? So the main contents of this house is downstairs where the taxidermist made multiple interesting and hilarious dioramas of daily life. A romancing fox and a beaver, a tea party of raccoons with a rabbit playing the piano, squirrels playing poker with a crow looking on, a squirrel riding a fox, a raccoon gone fishing, a smoking fish, an alligator performing in a show, raccoons playing tennis, a beaver with a hat, rats with hats and umbrellas, boxing raccoons, fighting raccoons and the best of all, a frog painting a bird. If anyone has any bright ideas, let me clarify beforehand, all these items in the house are non-destructible and cannot be harmed with dynamites. The tables might get burnt a little but that's all. In my last shot about this house, one of you commented who was a taxidermist in real life and in fact actually praised the accurate details done here. This only goes on to show how well this game is made. One more bit of information I wanted to convey in this video is the sad news we all received today that Red Dead Redemption 1 is not coming to PC. If it's not coming to PC, it's not coming to my channel. And that's quite unfortunate because I was expecting that to come and I was hoping to make some videos out of it. Anyway, I will be ending the video here. Please let me know in the comments how many of you completed this mission and which diorama do you find the most hilarious. A gentle reminder to subscribe as I said before and see you guys in the next video.